going on guys it's Ali in today's video we will be working on this Eleanor Mustang and I had a layer shift problem uh, over here but I had to break it again and glue it back again so it's not gonna be a problem because each piece it took about one day uh, 24 hours uh, so two pieces will take two days if you don't have any failed problem but with this one I did a new technique I put these pins so you can put a piece of filament and it's gonna align itself with the other piece but with other models I was using clamps and then I was using glue but it was too hard to align everything and glue it together but with this one it's gonna be much easier we are just gonna put these filaments and it's gonna align itself we are just gonna glue it and it will be aligned perfectly fine so this body designed for secure D5 chassis so the wheelbase is 216 millimeter and it will fit perfectly fine like this and I will also provide the rims with the STL file of the body so you won't have any problem for fitting the body on this chassis alright now we're gonna assemble the body and put these pins and then glue it together and then we will do a body work and for this one I didn't do any headlight uh, we're just gonna put a sticker on it because I wanna use this body only for my practice so if any crashes I'm not gonna have any problem with breaking headlight or anything so it's gonna be a solid body with some decals I always get asked about the glue what kind of glue I'm using for these bodies uh, any type of glue that comes with the actuator like this will work so I always use this uh, I'm gonna put some and then if you don't have these pins uh, these glues not gonna be useful because it's gonna glue it right away but now we have these pins so not gonna be a problem we are just gonna slide it in and it will align itself and the glue will hold itself another tip I would like to give you uh, to use less body filler because whenever you have body filler on the 3d printed body you have to sand it down till it will be smooth so in this case you just need to use on this scene uh, only on this joint but for me it will be on this joint as well because I had layer shift so if you have perfectly fine body in two pieces you will only need on the middle and then the front and the back that's it because the front and the back will be horizontal layers so you will need to smooth it out but on these places you don't you're not gonna need anything you're just gonna need a primer and then sand it and then paint if you look at it closer you can see the lines uh, it's very deep but with the hood it's not that deep so the primer will fill that but it's not gonna be able to fill that so we need a, a filler for that but not for the hood or any flat surface 